Welcome back to our series on COVID-19. If you enjoy the video today, check out the other two we have already made and subscribe to keep up with the rest of the series. In this episode, we will be discussing the etiology and pathophysiology of the virus, or at least what is known so far. Etiology. COVID-19 readily transmits between people via respiratory droplets, like when you cough or sneeze. It is also possible that it can spread via other bodily secretions, like blood, saliva, tears, and even feces, to name a few. A preliminary study suggests that there are two major types or strains of the SARS-CoV-2 virus in China, designated L and S. The L type was found to be more prevalent during the early stages of the outbreak in Wuhan City, and may be more aggressive but its frequency decreased after early January. The relevance of this finding is unknown at this stage, and further research is required, although it may be linked to the 10% reinfection rate which has been reported in China. The main problem with the virus is that a lot of carriers are asymptomatic, and the virus can be passed on to others at an exponential rate. This is why governments recommend that people who can stay at home should stay at home. Until tests are widely available, you will never know if you are carrying the virus, and even then, there may be false negatives. Pathophysiology. The reproductive number is not as sexy as you might initially imagine. Rather, it is the number of people who acquire the infection from an infected person. For COVID-19, this number is 2.2, so each infected person infects 2.2 other people on average, mathematically represented by 2.2 to the power of n. This is why so many people have been affected so far, and why you should stay tuned to the end to hear our advice on how to stay safe. While much of the pathophysiology is unknown, similar to SARS, it is thought the virus binds to the ACE2 receptor in humans, but it has a much greater affinity to ACE2 receptors compared to the 2003 virus, suggesting that they enter cells and reproduce more readily, explaining its ability to wreak havoc on the world. To find out all about the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, including the action of ACE, please subscribe now. Very rarely it can lead to acute respiratory res distress syndrome, which is the greatest cause of death for this virus. Basically, your immune system sees the virus, freaks out and goes haywire, and accidentally kills the sacs in your lungs designated for gas exchange, called alveoli, in the process of killing the pathogen. Remember, our immune system is a double edged sword. It protects you by killing pathogens, but damages your own cells at the same time. Based on RNA sequencing, SARS-CoV-2 more readily infects organs like the lungs, heart, esophagus, kidneys, bladder, and ileum, which brings us to the symptoms. This will be in our next video on COVID-19. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.